here to talk about uh, the future of healthcare. So think of this, you go to the doctor, uh, what happens? Uh, they assume that you hold the basis of information for them to state the diagnosis. They depend on some qualitative basis of information from you to understand more holistically what your body, fe your body feels like. So the future, I imagine, looks like what you see here above. Essentially, you have frequently measured time points of a more holistic nature, maybe even at a molecular level, of that individual's health in a temporal uh, resolution. Even when you get the actual samples from the doctor, it's just one point in time. You don't get the trend, and ideally, <coughs> maybe you could capture the diagnosis, you could capture the disease before it manifests itself. Now, I find that interesting. So, um, how can we actually sample from the body? So, recent discoveries show that um, sweat can be a good medium, uh, working with iron selective electrodes, as you see in the first picture up here. Um, you can even work with uh, skin conductive uh, tattoos with some clever electronics can say something of uh, your, your body as well. And in essence, all these electronics are pushing towards a more accurate assessment of biomarkers in your body. Now that's all great. Um, but right now, these are some of the methods we use. Uh, I distinguish between invasive and non-invasive procedures, invasive being anything that penetrates your skin. Clearly, when you penetrate, the skin um, must be less comfortable than if not. So, in my setting, ideally, you'd like to pen not penetrate anything, but get a full picture of, of, of the body. Here's a concrete example. Uh, on your left, you have the electroencephalography, and on your right, you have the electrocorticography. With the picture on your right, you actually have to penetrate the skull, to do the measurements, uh, with the left picture you do not. And I assume most of you can agree with me that uh, the procedure here on your right is probably not uh, something we would enjoy enduring. Okay, so far so good. So, um, another uh, interesting um, technology here is uh, flexible wristbands with ion selective electrodes being able to measure hydration levels, being able to measure electrolytes critical for life in people with critical uh, nephrological diseases like um, um, end-stage renal disease, which is when your kidney doesn't, isn't able to, to actually clean itself on a regular basis. Um, there's many reasons for why we want technologies that is able to measure biomarkers accurately. Now this is a fascinating uh, recent sensor developed where you can actually measure glycoma and glu glucose basically, diagnose glycoma and measure glucose in a contact lens, not interfering with the actual uh, field of view of, of, of the individual, at least uh, in, in animals. Okay, now this is all uh, fancy and interesting, but what, what do I do in all of this? What, what, what's my role? I'm part of Project PACE, a project that intends to develop technology that is comfortable, can measure accurately, and is unobtrusive. Because the, the people I deal with, the patients I deal with, are chronically ill, and they cannot provide qualitative information of their health. You see, people in my study have dementia, which is a cohort of different uh, unpleasant diseases with cognitive impairment, Alzheimer's, vascular dysfunction, motoric disabilities. This is something you do, you do not wish for yourself, maybe even for your worst enemy, right? So I need to find sensors which are unobtrusive, uninvasive, but still provide a good nature. So anything invasive is clearly off the picture. For now, we found these four modalities that we hope can provide a great understanding of that individual's health. We have a capacitive touch floor. We have a health patch measuring the heartbeat, the e electrocardiogram. We have a thermal irradiation camera. And we also have Wi-Fi localization data. All of this combined would hopefully get us to a 
quite simple com conclusion, basically, uh, I envision uh, for, for the future. So, a clever man once told me, PACE enabled us to do automated assessment of difficult patient groups in real time. That's what I, uh, what I intend to do. So, uh, thank you.